Hello everyone, I'm Emma and welcome back to the Talman Challenge. So we are starting with 183 gold, I also have some mail. Oh, it's just Evelyn telling me about the seasons, yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, let me get my tools out, are they in here? Yes they are, it just confused me because um, I do have a chest down here. In a normal playthrough that is usually where I'd keep my tools. Oh, it's salmonberry season and I can't even reach them all. Maybe I can just get like a couple from up here. Actually, I've got access to a good like two bushes. Actually, no, I don't. Never mind. No, I can't reach it. I can't walk behind there. Screw it. It's worth it. I have two salmon berries. One of them can be shipped. Oh, should I even do that right now? Probably not. I'll keep them around. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. I love salmon berry season. Six days till strawberries. So we're at least going to have like some kind of income come in soon. And thank you to everyone who left loads of lovely comments on the last video. I'm really happy with uh, how much you guys are loving this already. Quite a few of you let me know that there can be kind of like some bugs with the tile pricing. I mean, if it's charging more than it should, it just adds to the challenge. Because I thought what was going on was whenever I was using the like anti soft lock feature, which is when you saw me like build up to seven gold and then let me move. I thought that when I was paying more than the amount the next day, it was paying back the money. It wasn't. Apparently that's a bug. I'm not entirely sure. I was hoping that there would be a way to like see if the mod maker or something had a discord or whatever so that I could like ask them questions. I can't seem to find the info so I don't know. I think there is a file that I can like fix the prices if I want to so maybe I should do that at some point. But for now, let's see if we can make it down to the wizard. I brought my fishing rod with me just in case. Oh no, not the accidental tile buys. And it would help if I'm going the right way, wouldn't it? All right, I've only got 133 gold. Those summon berries were quite expensive. So um, let's just see how far we can get. I'm trying to see how much it's charging me. That was eight gold. That was seven gold. That was eight gold. It looks like it's like flipping between like seven and eight. Yeah, that definitely cost me eight gold. And I know that some of you let me know that maybe it's because the amount of tiles I've unlocked has gone up enough for it to increase in price, but according to the mod page, the max it should cost is five. So I'm not entirely sure. Maybe between this game day and next game day, I'll have to quickly have a look at the file. I did mean to do that just before recording, but for disclosure, I've literally just woken up. My brain isn't necessarily ready for the day and I'm okay with that. All right, I think for this day, I'm gonna have to end up fishing on the farm. And then after the end of this day, it probably won't be enough for a fish review, but we'll go and sort out the file and see if I can fix these prices. I did say I was going to add to the challenge, but like if it's costing seven or eight per tile and probably only going to increase, I don't think it's going to be possible. There is a difficulty setting that increases the cost one gold per tile. I feel like that's just not going to be possible. Definitely not the setting I'm playing. I haven't even changed the difficulty, so it should just be on level one. I'm pretty much just going to fish until my energy runs out though, because uh, I didn't necessarily want this to be a fishing day. I was hoping that I would be able to afford to go into the wizards and to be honest i probably should have been able to afford it so i will not be eating any fish today all right i'm gonna call this our last catch of the day what's it gonna be it's an anchovy okay so here's everything we got the only thing that we got that wasn't in the hot bar is i think i got like five pieces of wood but quite a lot of frozen geodes have i been saving those for anything i don't think i've even got a mining chest yet so i don't know i've got a couple i think i'm gonna sell this lot I'm going to sell the Doja Cola as well. I know that they do come up as quests. I don't think it's worth keeping for the energy. Or is it? No, but it's 25 gold. I want to be able to move. Right, let's uh, sell all the fish and the geodes and the seaweed. I've got some seaweed already. I mean, I've got one Doja Cola. There's still more than none. And then let's head to bed. Let's see if I can fix these tiles. <laughs> How much money did we make first, though? We made just over a thousand gold. Okay, we have something to work with. One eternity later. Okay, so I have not been able to fix it. Basically, when I put the fixes in that was on the page, it came up with a load of errors in Smappy. So I'll look into this for next time. We'll just have to deal with the uh, raised prices for now. Pierre's now selling fertilizers. I probably can't afford them. We do have a couple of crops though. I'm probably just gonna sell most of these. Not the green bean. We need to keep the green bean. Single potato can go though. <laughs> Maybe this is it. Maybe today is the day that we make it to the wizards. We got a bush I can reach. Oh, I just bought a tile. And the berries over there. Okay. I think it depends on what side I'm standing, right? So I'm gonna stop doing that. Let's just try and get inside this building. Oh my god, we made it. I think we're inside. Oh my god, we're here. Imagine if it took the gold to like walk in in the cutscene. I mean, I'm gonna skip this one. We've all seen it a million times. I don't really need to talk directly to you. And then I guess let's have a look from here. What we've got going on in the community center. So we've got the normal spring. Ah, spring onion. That's so expensive. It's so far away. I wonder if I just carry my path on down the corner here. The wild medicine bundle was very not ideal. Sticky bundle we already knew about. And then we've got winter foraging, summer foraging, and fall foraging. 
so it's just these two that are different. Um, okay. Well, I guess our next task is to get down to the spring onion. I think that's the only... No, it's not the only thing. I haven't picked up like any of the forage. What ones do we need? Horserad... We don't need a daffodil, so we need a horseradish, a leek, and a dandelion. Well, I'm going to unlock the tiles this way because my thought is I can definitely only get spring onions in this one specific area. However, the horseradish can spawn in the forest. I probably should have brought my scythe because there are some weeds here giving me some free tiles. There we go. There's a salmon berry. Let's see how far we can make it. I'm glad the bridges are at least free. I could have chopped down this tree, but it is only going to grow back. So I guess there's not really any point in that. We are going to get so annoyingly close. Yes, we are. Okay. Oh, there's an artifact spot there as well. Right, let's just try and see how far we can get. Oh my god, I'm so stealing one tile. Okay, <laughs> I just wanted one. Got a long way around to go, but let's go home. I feel like I am just going to have to sell some of this fiber because like realistically, I'm not going to get Caroline for like a very long time. There's not really any point in me saving some of the stuff for her. Sticky bundle I need to keep. Really would have liked to sell sap. I think someone suggested that I maybe sell fertilizer, but I'm not sure if that would be a good idea because I think even if I went to sell the basic fertilizer, it costs the same. I mean, I can test it out with these two saps. I think it only costs two. Before we check, these are worth four gold. And then if I craft it into a fertilizer, this is worth two gold. So it's actually worse. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this fertilizer and actually make use of it. And uh, we're only going to make 50 gold from the bit of materials that I've just uh, slapped in the chest, but you know what? Better than nothing. Oh, there's a dandelion up there. Okay. I think I also got really unlucky with where any forage has spawned on the map because those came up with freebie tiles and I don't think that the freebie tiles come back at any point. I worded that completely wrong. I don't think that we get new freebie tiles with new forage. I think it can now only spawn in the tiles that were there in the first place. So I have that one in the corner for the bus stop, which is just wonderful. Marnie wants an eel. I'm actually going to accept this. I'm expecting that she is indeed at the exercise class right now. So I'm wondering if I can just like run home, pick up an eel and see if I can catch her on her way home. I think this is my last chance of the week to do this. So I'm just going to have to hope for the best. In fact, I'm just going to keep checking my map every now and again. And we're just going to wait for her because 225 gold is a lot. I know I said I needed eels for other things too, but you know what? It's going to take us more than a year. We're going to catch more. Plus, I don't know, maybe some friendship might be a good thing. Saying that though, it's probably going to decay before I can get any benefit from it at all. Welcome to PS. How can I help you? You can't. I can't afford anything. I'm very sorry. You don't want to talk to me. I have two gold. I guess I'll say hi to Lewis though. Why not? Ah, he says you've been spending time in the old community center. That's gross. Don't smell me, please. Oh my god, are we meeting Abigail? Hello. I'm not in a good mood right now. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm probably going to be in your way, so I do apologize. Let me um push past you. You could walk around me, but I can't afford to walk around you. She doesn't actually leave till three. I mean six. I would say I'd go home to fish, but I feel like by the time I walk all the way back, I'd have to leave again anyway, right? Is there any point? I just need to wait here. I think I need to wait here. Look at all those people and their freedom to move around the shop freely. Sorry, Lewis. I literally, I literally can't get out of your way. <laughs> at least it's going to force me to meet other people, I guess. I work part time at Gus's saloon. It pays the bills. Well, I hope it's enough to unlock all the tiles. Yeah, I wonder if the villagers ever had to do that. How funny would it be if there was like dialogue that was like, oh, I spent my life savings on being able to navigate the town. Or like, am I the only one? Did they hate grandpa that much? <laughs> Pierre, we'll meet Pierre. I know I said I wasn't going to meet people, but like, I do kind of want to get the introductions quest. Sometimes I get new items in stocks. So make sure to stop by every so often. I would love to, but again, I can't afford anything. Okay, they're finally all on the move. I don't know if I've actually met Jodie yet. Hello. Exercise is important for staying healthy. I always make sure to set aside some time for it. Well, I hope fishing counts as exercise because I've been doing a lot of that. And hello, Robin. I know I've met you already, but we'll just, just get the hello points. And Marnie, first of all, let's have a chat. My nephew Shane has been staying at my place for the last few months. Well, have an eel. Enjoy the eel. Is that the eel I requested? Thanks so much. Let's see. Here's what I owe you. Thank you so much. I really needed that. Oh, I could have got the axe from Robin, right? Maybe we go do that. No, because I have to hand it in. Although I could hand it in next Tuesday, but it would cost me more to get the axe than it would be to not get the axe. And maybe I just don't bother with that. Next goal, the dandelion. And I've got to do it by Sunday because it's going to reset. Should I just start making progress now? Why not, right? Oh, there's more up there. Okay, I'm going to go this way. That's going to be way more worth my while. Plus, now I've got a route to the bus already. Give me the leak and give me the dandelion. So we have three out of four already. What was the last one again? Horseradish, which I think I need to go to the backwards for. I've not even touched that area yet. If I can get some spring seeds, that's going to help us like a lot. And I can already make a start on going up there. I don't mean to be tilling tiles as I go. It just kind of happens. Oh, 
Okay, we haven't even left the farm. Never mind. I'm gonna sell this one more piece of fiber because why not? You know what? I'm even gonna let go of the silver parsnip. I don't really need to keep that. Chances of me reaching ham for a birthday are like really minimal. Can't go to bed without some last minute fish, I guess. <laughs> I really did just almost walk in the door, but I think you'd all scream at me for not trying to get some more money. Even if it's only a couple. We've also got some rain tomorrow, so we've got some chance for some catfish. Ooh, halibut. Have I got one of those yet? Well, either way, it's worth 200 gold. I'll go for like one more fish because I don't want to lower my energy even further for the morning by not sleeping on time. And it's some coral. Okay, all of these going in the shipping bin. Let's go to bed. Oh, no watering tomorrow too. So that's some extra energy for fishing, unfortunately. <laughs> all right, I think I'm just going to go straight up there. Maybe for now, I'm going to leave. Okay, first of all, let's stop buying tiles on the farm. Going to leave behind the forage. And the reason for that is if I manage to make a path to fish up by the lake. No, I don't want to fish up by the lake today, do I? Oh, wait, there's rice ready. All the distraction. Give me all the rice. Oh my god, farming level up too. So these are worth 30 each. I think I'm just going to sell them like as they are. I don't think I'm going to need them. I'll get more later on if I want to turn them into rice. I'm so far off being able to get a mill that it really doesn't matter. Bring the rod, bring the hoe. Pretty much all I need. Right, carefully walk. Don't unlock any accidental tiles and we should be good. Let's go. All right, we made it to the backwards. How far are we going to make it through here today? Now I'm trying to be careful about this because I essentially want like almost the shortest route possible. But I also, I'm going to zoom out. I wanted to see if there was any forage here. There is literally none. So maybe what I do is I'm going to go across here so I can get this one bush. And I don't think I'm making it out of this part of the map today. Nope, no we do not. Okay, never mind. We've made progress though. I seem to have bought some extra tiles here that I shouldn't have unfortunately. Now I'm going to go check the board one more time. I feel like at this point, if I don't see anyone else ask for a diamond, oh, am I going to regret it though? I was going to say like, maybe I should just sell the diamond. It's 750 gold, but I feel like what's going to happen is I'm going to sell that diamond and then someone is going to ask for one. <laughs> it would be just my luck. All right, no one's asking for anything on the board today. Let's just do some rain fishing. I also saw at least one comment that said something about installing mods perhaps to basically make it so I can order stuff from the farm. I think that's actually a good idea for like if you're struggling with getting through this mod. When it comes to things like this that are like challenges though, I mostly don't try to look for anything to make my life too much easier most of the time. So I think that could be a good idea, but I don't think that's one I would like to go with. It's more things that are like kind of a fun pairing. I don't want to add any expansions to this. I do want to do a run with Expanded at some point because I did read on the mod page that it is actually compatible with those. I also don't know what's going to happen to this mod with 1.6 as well. I'm really hoping that we can still play this after. I have started taking steps to preparing to be able to essentially run 1.5 as well. There is a way to do that. I do need to learn more, but if you're playing with mods, I read a really good post from Kaito Kid on the Archipelago Discord. Oh my god, fishing level up. I completely lost my train of thought because I was so focused on the fish. Um, <laughs> yeah, I read a post from Kaito Kid on the Archipelago Discord. Maybe I'll leave the post on the screen here. Even though obviously we're not playing the Archipelago mod, which how fun would that be to combine the two? I don't know if they're compatible with each other. Maybe I'll have to ask one day. But basically like preparing by doing things like copying out your Stardew folder already from your Steam folder. If I copy it out now, I'll have all the 1.5 files just like on my PC somewhere so that I can use them if I want to. Then that way you also have the choice between running mods that are still compatible with 1.5 and also having a separate like install for mods that are working with 1.6. It should just mean that I can hopefully seamlessly carry on things like this series and the Rafidac series that we're streaming on Wednesdays and kind of like not have to worry about the update for March 19th. I think you can also make it so that you always run Steam in offline mode and then stop the automatic updates. I'm probably going to have to do that for a while too. But I do want to do some 1.6 related stuff. I just like don't know when that'll be or why I would like that to look like. I don't know, are you interested in seeing like a vanilla 1.600 days? I know there's a lot of new Joja content, so maybe that's the like way to go. Because I'd really like to explore that stuff and maybe that's a good format to do it. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And obviously when I say 100 days, I obviously mean like a year at a time. <laughs> I am starting to think that at some point the fiberglass rod is going to be more than worth 
the cost. The reason I say that is obviously when catching with bait, the bite rate is definitely higher. So I think maybe that's one of the next things we do. I mean, first we need to see if we can get this horseradish. I just want to get going on at least completing one bundle in the community center. I want those forage seeds and I also want to see what we've got with the fishing bundles and oops I just lost a catfish that was definitely a catfish rest in peace to like I don't even know how much gold I'm gonna have to look I've got a couple in my hotbar <gasps> loot though give me that what we got iron and coal I don't have enough room for both I'm gonna throw that on the ground never mind it's in the water okay 300 and something gold I just uh let go oh I just realized I need space I need space to put stuff now that it's dark, I'm also hoping, I mean, I think it's the thing that you can fish up either like one of the variations of the glow ring. It's so dark, I need some light. I feel like that single diamond was all the luck we're going to have with fishing loot for the series. No, I need to change that mindset. That is not the right loot goblin mindset. There's loot in these waters and we're going to find it. Some of the stuff I don't really want to sell. I'm only going to bring stuff I know I want to sell for now. I can come back for the other stuff later. Hi Shane, this weather makes you thirsty. Just open your mouth and drink the rain. Have some sky water. All right, before I just go ahead and ship all this, let's just check what we've got. Got a couple of catfish, got a couple of shad, got a bream. Yeah, I can ship it all. Off you go, all of you. Pet the dog since I can actually reach and get some sleep. Level two farming. We've got the sprinkler recipe we literally can't make. And level six fishing. Trap bob is going to be good for later on. And how much money did we make? Oh my God, nearly three and a half grand. Yes, please. That's fine. We're going to make it to the backwards, not the backwards, the mountain with no issue at all. Maybe, I mean, I feel like I'm earning obviously quite a lot of money. I just got the 15K achievement for all of our crops to go today. Now the cauliflower, I'll ship one just for a little bit. I'm just praying we can get that horseradish today. Grab our one single salmon berry, damn it. We'll get through the backwards, maybe not with our fishing rod. And um, moment of truth, will there be a horseradish for us? Um, I mean, it's not looking good so far. Oh my God, there's not a single piece of forage. No, maybe, does it only generate if we like walk over here? Surely not. Oh, rubbish. Well, in that case, I guess I want to make myself a route over to the lake to fish anyway. So let's go ahead and start unlocking that. And I'm going to do it so that we can get by robins. Just means we can go in if we want to. There's definitely nothing down here. No, there isn't. Oh my god. Well, that sucks. Maybe I should be unlocking some tiles on the grass then where the forage can spawn. Hopefully that was a smart play. And I think I'm going to start unlocking in this direction as well, because we do want to get to the mines at some point. It just means I've got a good, like, decent place to fish and we're making progress to the mines. But I think I'm going to save money now because maybe we start working towards being able to get a better rod. I'm also going to have to find a place for a chest up here too. What we got? Oh, I keep getting coal. Why am I fishing up so much coal? I mean, maybe that's a good thing, but there's just so much of it. Who's dumping coal in these waters? Oh my God, finally some loot. I haven't seen too much of that for a good luck day. I mean, there's been one other chest. What we got? Oh my god, another diamond. Okay, yep, that's worth it. I'm definitely gonna sell one of them. Uh, problem. Let's spin that. I think I'm gonna have to go home and drop some stuff off because like, what if I get more good loot? What am I gonna do? I mean, I could just chuck it on the ground. Oh, I need to make sure it's stuff that I don't care too much about. Then at some point I can come back up here and collect that stuff off the floor. And by some point, I literally mean this evening. I'm not going to leave it overnight. I will, um, I'll bring up a chest to put in this area. I'm thinking if I slap one like right about here, it's not going to interfere with any NPC paths and hopefully it won't get destroyed. <gasps> another chest. What do we have? Another piece of bait and another piece of coal or another few pieces of coal. Was it one? I think it was one. I haven't thrown out any coal. That was far too much thinking for how much coal I just fished out the water, wasn't it? <laughs> I feel like what I probably should do is just eat the one salmon berry I've got. But the reason I don't want to do that is I'm kind of worried that I've got like the foragers bundle or something going on. And if I do, I'm going to need a lot more of them. So every berry counts at the moment. Another chest. And I think this is going to be one of the last. Uh, we could probably get another cast or two out. What is with all the coal? <laughs> why like i need it. it it is a good thing technically but like what <laughs> what about this chip <laughs> oh it's like a curse the curse of the coal right last cast no treasure chest for this one so no more coal why is there so much coal okay let's get out of here no oh actually i do want to buy those tiles we'll just have them ready for the chest which i'm gonna go and sort out like now problem is i don't have enough energy to chop the wood for the chest so we'll figure that out oh hello sebastian you snuck into the caves last night and got a nasty cut from a rock crab don't tell anyone i mean i won't but like i feel like sebastian's like obviously one of those people who's a little bit like not necessarily rude but 
you know, doesn't want much interaction with you until you, like, really get to know him. Why is he telling me a secret that he doesn't want me to tell anyone? You don't know me enough to trust me. Not that I would say anything, but just, like, the, the thought of it, you know? All right, this particular diamond, that's gonna go. I can't afford not to sell that. Now, fish-wise, we're gonna keep one of these, a couple of these, and a bull head. Rest of you, in the bin. Okay, how am I gonna deal with a tree now? Maybe I do have to drink this Jojo Cola. I don't really want to dr drink a fish. I mean, eat a fish. We've got 37 wood, so we're not far off. As long as I can reach a tree somewhere, which I think... Yeah, I can get to one up here. I think some of this wood's going to go in the water, but hopefully we'll get enough. Oh, foraging level up as well. So that was that was very much worth it. I also noticed there are now monsters, so I've got my scythe with me because it's the only weapon I have. Probably not going to stand and kill them forever. Just get them out of my way, you know? Excuse me, please. Out of my way. Bear fish acquired chest placed now we're gonna walk all the way home <laughs> will give me a little bit extra to sell so there we go see what the deal is for tomorrow there's a survival burger that i can't make not gonna be able to make for a while and two and a half grand from fishing and especially the diamond we now have five grand i'm hoping that's enough for us to get to the rod oh you're sending the even better one now do i just wait until i can afford the iridium rod at this point oh extra 500 gold nice could definitely have done with that. Jody wants a cauliflower. She can have it on Tuesday. Actually, did I only keep one? I think I did. No, I kept three. Okay, that's fine. I have enough then. I do want to go check out the merchant and just uh, see if I can find anything particularly useful. Hello there. So we've got some green tea, some mayonnaise. I don't know what bundles I've got going on in the pantry, so I won't grab that. Oh, the coffee bean for 600? Yes, please. That's very cheap gonna get that planted like pretty much immediately that's some good money going into summer as well i'm aware they're not like the best money but it's still better than what i've got going on right now i do just want a quick little look up this side of the farm as well looks like there's a little fishing spot here i haven't really done too much with the beach farm i would love to stop accidentally buying tiles but at least now i've got a way to walk around the edge i think now i don't think i've got enough tiles or the right tiles unlocked for crates to show up unless they maybe show up somewhere else i don't really know much about this farm let's find a way up that isn't going to cost me quite as much maybe a route through here yeah there we go that wasn't too bad coffee bean you're gonna go over here i've got so much watering to do but i think it's worth it at the moment all right rainy days are obviously fishing days so hopefully we're gonna get enough to maybe do a fish review at the end of it it's not a good luck day so i'm not holding out hope of filling out an entire hot bar let's see what happens Okay, that is the end of my fishing day. I would do a fish review. There's not enough to show, really. Uh, the iron and coal was already here. Let me just retrieve some of the other stuff that I got. But uh, yeah, I, let's be honest, this sucks. Look how many pieces of algae I fished up today. I guess it must be the bad luck day. I was really hoping that we'd pull through today with enough money to go and buy the fiberglass rod tomorrow and obviously like make it into woody shop anyway, but um, I don't think that's going to happen. I think from now on, though, I probably am just going to keep my fishing to mostly rainy days. Keep the Jojo Cola for now. I did drink my, what usually would be my spare one. Go away, slime. Oh, we did hit level seven though. That So that's something. Uh, and how much money did we make? I mean, it was still 1800 gold, 2000 when you include uh, the algae and the geode. It's better than I thought. But yeah, we'd only just have enough money to afford the rod without also having to buy all the tiles. So not ideal. Now given that like, I feel like the more expensive fish mainly appear on rainy days. Maybe that's what we keep the fishing to. Aside from like the full weeks of fishing that I want to do here and there. I just, I need to not think about fishing for like some amount of time, you know. So what I'm thinking we do today is forage is going to reset tomorrow. I would like to go through all the paths that I've unlocked and just check if there's anything on the ground that we can pick up. It is Shane's birthday today. I don't think I have anything to give him that's even worth it. So it's probably going to have to skip that one this year. Because chances are I'm probably not going to bump into him. Okay, no forage in the mountain. Lovely. Wonderful. I'm pretty sure the horse radishes can also spawn in the forest, right? I know that the leeks can't. Am I mixing those up? I'm pretty sure the leeks can't spawn in the forest, but the horse radishes can. I'm going the wrong way again. That sad lonely salmon berry is still on the ground. I'm not going to buy the space to pick it up. I think that's not worth it for one single berry for five gold. Season is over though, so maybe I should. I don't know. No, save the gold. What I was hoping for is to come down here and see some reachable spring onions, but no, we do have this whole open area now though. And do you know what? I'm going to allow myself a little bit of rogue loot goblin and go and till this tile over here. And it was just a book. I was really hoping for an artifact. Okay then. I'm just going to pretend that didn't happen. I feel like even my gold balance is laughing at me. This horseradish is going to cause us some issue. Now how can I make this work? Because the problem is I need all four pieces of forage to even craft the forage seeds. 
So I can't get more horseradish without a first horseradish anyway. <laughs> you know what? Let me zoom out here. I'm wondering if forage could spawn on this grassy area. It looks like a no. If I walk through my farm like this, maybe we can see more. See if there's something I missed. I don't think there is, unfortunately. I have a little look over here. Nothing useful in sight. I mean, there's something on the board. Shane wants an amethyst sometime today. Well, hopefully he's going to walk off to the saloon at some point. Oh, I don't even have an amethyst. What am I talking about? I can't even give you one. I don't have one. Never mind on that. I'm just walking down this way because I feel like it would be a good idea to start opening up a path to the beach. Then we kind of know where we stand. Not to the beach, but like to the shop. Ooh, there are some beach forageables around. Oh, Elliot's out. Where are you going? Figure out where you're going before I uh, start unlocking tiles. I at least want to meet him, you know. Hello. Probably wouldn't like it inside my cabin. It's dark and full of spiders. Well, gross. I, I didn't need to know that. Can you um get out of my way, please? Thank you very much. Oh, there is a bubble spot here. I could have uh, brought my rod, but I didn't. So there's that. Oh, it's gone anyway. <laughs> okay, we've successfully made a route to the door. I know Willie's not even here right now, so it's kind of irrelevant. But let's just um make a path to the counter. There we go. I mean, I've still got six and a half grand, so is the rod 6,000 or 7,000? Like, maybe I should be scrambling to try and get something to sell. Bring home the rest of this loot whilst we're here. Oh, there's Leah. I don't think I've met her yet. Hello. Love to decorate for the different seasons. Wait, I don't remember meeting a lot of these people. Have we still got question marks? Yeah, we have. I don't know. I can't remember who I've met and who I haven't. Now, there are three bins this way. I probably need to make a start on, like, actually opening some bins because from what I remember... Oh no, I don't have anything to give Shane and he was right here. But yeah, from what I remember about the bins, mid sentence distraction, I don't care about the Alex friendship, I haven't even met him yet. You have to open them a certain number of times before they start giving you better stuff. Can you please get out of my way? Oh, okay, I guess I'm going this way. I'm not going to stop that. Leave me alone. Leave me to my trash. I think this will do for today. Hopefully now if I start checking those every day, we might start to get some better stuff as time goes on. There's definitely some fish in here I don't need to keep hold of really. So that's kind of a start. I think I'm also going to bin off like both of these geodes. I'll keep one frozen geode in case for the bulletin board. Do I have anything in this chest or is it just kind of here? I think it is. I think I wanted to put my mining stuff in it. Well for now I'm just going to get rid of the clay and the fiber. I will go ahead and catch a few fish. I think I'm going to have to. I think it's unavoidable today. Just for the sake of the rod tomorrow. Completely forgot about the monsters on the farm, so that is my fishing day over. I do realise though tomorrow we're going to have strawberries and I should be able to sell some of those directly to Pierre. So early night for me. The monsters have said go to bed. I mean a few hundred is some progress. It's something. Alright let's get our radish salad recipe. Once again probably should check the merchant. Don't overly want to but doing it anyway. I'm going to regret it if I don't. Let's get those strawberries. Hopefully that's another farming level on us as well. Oh yeah, that's easily going to be another farming level. There we go, level three. Can't actually remember what you get for level three. One of the least memorable levels for me, farming level three. Oh my god, another one. Level four as well. Okay, well we've got preserve jars coming, so maybe I should stop selling things like wood. Oh, I missed a strawberry. I'm also going to save like quite a lot of these to turn into jelly as well. I do need to ship one for shipping. Keep the gold for gifts. And these are going to come to Pierre's with me. Let's get that boost, finally. <laughs> Please have something good for me. Make the trip worth it. There's honey, but I think I can make the bee house soon. Even if I don't have... I think it's iron that I need for it. Pufferfish. I'm probably going to be able to catch that next season, let's be honest. Don't need a cave carrot. I think we're good. Okay. I mean, that's actually a good thing. Having no merchant stuff today. I'll do a quick little look down here for forage because it is a new foraging week now. So technically I do have the chance of finding the horseradish. Again, could be mixing up the locations. Maybe it is only in like the backwood area. Don't know if I'm mixing that up with a leak. If I get some extra spring onions though, that would be good because like first of all the mines. Ah, there we go. There's a few. Second of all, potentially money, but I think I'm going to keep it for energy. Oh, there's Haley. I don't think I've spoken to her yet. Hello. My sister's so weird sometimes I wonder if we're actually related. People are talking as if I've met them already and I don't think I have. Maybe I'm just like really late so they just like assume I know who they are. Hello Pierre, can you take some strawberries off my hand please? That is so much money. Ooh, backpack. I think this is the time for the backpack. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. We can get to the shop already. We can reach the rod. I think I've earned it, okay. Oh, I should have said hello to Harvey. <gasps> no, hi, there we go. I know I haven't met you. So strange. So very strange. Okay, Willie, please sell me your finest rod. Seven and a half grand. Okay, so it was a bit more expensive than I thought. But that's okay. I was kind of hoping to also buy a crab pot, but I can't afford it anymore. I do have some bait, but not very much. So I'm going to buy another like 10. Just to like, I don't know, 
I have spare. And then for my spare gold this week, I am going to probably go and unlock the mines. I think it's about time. I want to know what we're dealing with exactly. <laughs> I've decided as well, I think I'm just going to play by ear how long each episode is going to end up being. Like, I don't know if I want to do a full week of fishing next week or not. No, I should. I really should. It's about to be a new season. Sometimes I really have to talk myself into the fishing. Actually, before I go, I think I'm actually just going to bring this one chest up with me to the mines. I'm also going to bring a portion of my coal. I'm going to leave... Is it eight coal? I think it's eight coal per preserves jar. So I'll leave 16 here so I can make a couple. It might even be at this point I might have to save some fish for food. It's not like I have access to a load of forage. Okay, let's make this little mines route across this bridge here. Would usually you like to fish on this tile? I think I'm going to unlock it anyway. And let's go inside. Yeah, yeah. Just give, give, give over the weapon. The horrible rusty sword. And let's do this. So I'm going to need like a situation here. Can I place this here? No, I do have to unlock that tile. Then I need a little route to the ladder. Oh, I should probably unlock the tile just in front of the elevator as well. Actually, no, I'll leave it because if I run out of gold, then it will kind of do it for me. <laughs> okay, so if I zoom out, as you can see, a random amount of tiles have been unlocked. So I imagine that these tiles would have had rocks on them on the first day. They don't anymore. So this is going to be a struggle. I guess I'm going to have to like be calculated as to how I unlock the levels. I'm not even sure if this is wise to be doing at this point. Like, should I be prioritizing my gold on other things? Probably. Oh, look, a ladder. All right, so we do have some enemies, finally. I was kind of curious as to how those work. So far, so good on the ladders, though. I do really need a glow ring, though, don't I? Oh, there are some crates over there. I'm not going to make it over there. It's going to be too much money. Okay, the mines are going to have to be something I kind of think about another time, for sure. There is no way I can afford to be in here. So for now, should I bring the coal home? I probably should. I'll leave the iron here, but the coal can come with me. Maybe I'll leave the weapon as well. Actually, no, I need the weapon for the farm. We have monsters. I mean, at least we can just like get in there now. It's probably going to have to be a case of just like resetting the first floor and hoping that I find some more. Oh, a monster. I mean, like these could be good money as well. Not if it just drops me a piece of fiber, but still. <laughs> I'm probably just going to try to bend the bamboo hole as well. I'm not going to use it again. I feel like this is the earliest I've ever got the Iridium Rod. It's very, very strange for me. I do have a little bit of energy left, so I am going to use that to clear up some of the farm. Mainly chopping trees, because I'm going to need wood for the preserves jars that I think I'm about to unlock. We need ways to get as much money as possible. I do forget that they do need stone as well, so uh, I'm just going to have to hope for the best of having enough of that stuff. Okay, I got a little bit of wood. Just trying to kill this bat. I would love to have another bat wing. I'm going to make sure I keep some, you know, just in case for like the community center or the lightning rod and stuff. And I did also get a mix seed that we can use for the beginning of next season too. So now I'm going to head to bed and then it's going to be our fishing week. So the way I'm going to do these are off camera. My face will not be here. <laughs> because I'm essentially going to zone out and fish as much as I can. And then at the end of the week, we'll do a fish review. So there's the bee house recipe that was level three. And then with level four, we did get the preserves jar. So I'm going to need to make some of those as soon as possible. I'll catch up with you at the end of the week for the fish review. Oh, before I do the fish review, I will let you know that I will not be attending the flower dance. I don't think there's any point in me doing that because I'm going to have to buy the tiles to go and meet everyone. I'm not even going to want to afford the rec crew this year anyway there really is just no point oh demetrius is here hello you've had a breakthrough in your research well um let me know what cave i should go with i think i should go with see mushrooms are going to be easy profit however i don't know what bundles we've got for the pantry i think i'm gonna go with the bats because i don't see myself being able to afford the saplings for like a very long time is that a wise choice though i don't know maybe if i fish enough i will be able to afford it oh this is difficult right i'm going with mushrooms it's daily profit we need that this time i hope that was the right call let me know what would you have done i usually go with the fruit cave when doing a community center run well what's done is done <laughs> all right fishing time obviously if anything particularly exciting happens i will still show you can you believe I did a solid week of fishing? This is a first for me. There were a couple of other things I had to do on some of the days, and I will update you on those. But before I do, I realized I never actually talked about the fact that I am going to be doing the community center route for this playthrough. Thank you to everyone who left a comment on the last video to help me decide. Even though the Joja route could make sense for something that seems to be very money focused, 
I do feel like, and some of you have also said that if I just like fish or work out some other way to make a load of money, I mean especially fish in this particular case, I will just end up unlocking all the bundles and it really is just kind of like a matter of time and grind. Whereas with the community center, I'm gonna have to go to a bunch of different places to get several different items and that means having to actually unlock the paths to get there too. And not even just that, I'm probably gonna need to unlock tiles to keep animals on. I probably can't do a lot of the community center without certain upgrades and such so I think it's gonna be more fun to do the community center where we have to put quite a bit more thought behind what we're doing and you know like think about what to prioritize first. Now I'm pretty sure I also saw a comment that might have mentioned potentially unlocking every tile in a room before we complete that room in the community center and I think that's gonna be a fun little addition so thank you for that suggestion I think I'm gonna do it. It's definitely gonna be a challenge and I'm up for it. I'm not afraid at all. <laughs> So I was planning on saving all of the fish until the end to do a big old fish review, but I did have to part with a couple of bull heads a little bit early, just because I took until like halfway through the week to remember that we unlocked that mushroom cave and I hadn't bought a path into there yet. I mean, even then, I kind of forgot to harvest it every single day, but at least it's there now. I also had the last strawberry harvest on Thursday and I leveled up my farming there, but instead of shipping them all off, I did sell them directly to Pierre, well at least some of them. I wanted to use that money to buy a crab pot from Willy as well as a few hundred bait. I don't usually buy bait, but we don't have easy access to bugs, and I thought it was worth the investment if it meant we can catch more fish in the same amount of time. Plus, I'm gonna need it for that crab pot too. I left some money to spare so I could check the traveling cart on the Friday and on my way there, I found the horseradish. The first horseradish, I can't believe it. It was just kind of laying there in the path. Obviously I grabbed it, but I'm not gonna complete the bundle until we start the next episode. At the cart, I did go ahead and buy the orange, just in case we get the artisan bundle. I feel like in a normal playthrough, I would have also bought the tiger trout, but let's be honest, I think in this save, we're probably just gonna fish it up. That's all I got from the cart this week. I won't show you Sundays because I didn't buy anything. Now fishing wise, the highest level I reached this week was level nine. That's the earliest I've ever got level nine, I am pretty sure. Like honestly, it's one of the last skills, if not the last skill I tend to level up. And um, yeah, that's even behind combat. But I think that's everything I needed to update you on for this week. So let's go ahead and do that fish review. Over the course of this week, I caught over 180 fish. There are 177 on the screen if I've counted it correctly, but I did have to sell those two bullheads and I also had to eat a few for energy during the week and those were usually just small mouth basses or carps. I think I did eat some of the algae as well. Also got some pretty good treasure finds in there. Got a few artifacts and things I might be able to use for the community center and the ore is gonna be especially handy because I think it's gonna be a while until we can get low enough in the floors to even find them ourselves. So for most of this stuff, let's uh, chuck it all into the shipping bin and see how much we made for an entire week of fishing. <coughs> I am very displeased to report that we made almost 25 grand. This week of fishing actually ended up being worth it. I mean, like, let's be real, we knew it was going to be worth it, but my anti-fishing brain is really upset right now. Even if not necessarily every episode, this is definitely going to have to be a thing. But that does serve as motivation for me to try and figure out other ways to make money so that we can maybe phase it out a little bit, like not all together, but just like maybe not have to do it quite as much. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please do hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much to my channel members, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.